you know, they have everything these days. They have these floor cleaners, they have these voice assistants that usually aren't very helpful. You know, what else can they come up with? Oh, hey, how's it going guys? Well, we have a really cool innovation. These actually been out for a while. This is a smart window cleaner, yes. Who would have thought having a robot clean your windows, but gone are the days of having to bust out the Windex, bust out the paper towels. Now, we can just have a little robot do this. All right, let's just go ahead and check this out. This is the Saturo Smart Window Cleaner. I believe this is on Indiegogo. Uh, should be releasing in May of this year, so let's just check it out. This is a pre-release version, so we'll see how well it does. Now, right off the bat, this is a pretty nice looking box, and one thing I noticed, there's like a little QR code right there, so it's nice that the company cares about the customer service. So if you have any issues, you can actually scan the QR code, and there's the email address right here. Uh, nicely, kind of like, introduction packet here. It's all in, uh, what is it, Japanese? Hmm, interesting. And it looks like you can get some additional accessories or something right there. Alright, we'll put that off to the side. And here's the instruction manual. And this is actually pretty nice packaging. QR code for the app. Okay. So hopefully when it comes out in May, uh, they should have an English version of the instructions. But I think it's pretty uh, straightforward, so I think I should be able to figure this out. Am I doing this right? An unlock feature? Not sure what that does, we'll figure that out. Uh. I know, maybe I should read the instructions. What is this thing? I'm not sure. Maybe some cleaning solution or something? So it pulls out. That's pretty cool, look at that. Whoa, this is pretty long. Jeez, how long is this cable? There's a button to retract it. That's something that they were talking about here. There you go, look at that. It goes right back in. There's probably another retracting button. Let's just tearing handle. And I noticed that there's this suction cup right here. So when you place the uh, base on a nice smooth surface, it kind of stays right there, so it's not gonna move around on you. Another QR code right there. We have a, I believe this is a 100 milliliter water bottle. So yes, there's an onboard water tank here. I believe it's like 50 milliliters. So this can spray some solution down for you. Nice little handy remote. So this is like your safety cable. So what they recommend doing is tying this off uh, somewhere above the robot. So in case it does leave suction, it won't fall to the ground. It looks like we have some additional wheels. Interesting that they're not like actual robotic wheels. They actually just kind of plant down, they spin, and this thing just kind of crawls along your uh, window. All right, let's check out the unit itself. Oh yeah, we have some additional uh, mopping pads. Right here, pretty cool. It looks like we got one spare. Interesting design. I'm glad that the company thought of everything. Allowing the user to put everything back is really smart, especially with this type of robot. Now, let's talk about this robot. For example, unlike a traditional robot that uses wheels, this actually has two counter rotating mopping pads. You may have seen this on like mopping robots where they have these mopping pads towards the rear of the robot or the front. This is actually the entire robot. So, it uses downward force, uh, suction cup to suck onto your windows, and these mopping pads tied to rotate to allow it to clean and steer the robot. Now, the operation works pretty well. It was able to detect borders and then do like an S pattern. Now, how to start this guy is this actual button right there. The light indicates, and then you just press the power button. Now, you can use an app through your phone, Android or iPhone, but you know what, I found this is to be more handy, and during my personal testing, I felt this was the easiest to use, not having to pull out my smartphone. I'm glad they have this cool little remote. So, when you're done with it, all you have to do is just take off these mopping pads, they're pretty easy to remove, and just throw them in your washer and dryer, and you're good to go. I believe they come with uh, two extra sets, so you have six total, which is nice. And these wheels do come off as well, so if you want to just put the mopping pads on the wheels and slap on the robot, you can do that. Now, one thing I want to show you is the way you uh, put everything away. There's these buttons up top. This retracts the robot power cable, which just push right there. And you also have an AC cable right here. This 
plugs into the wall. Be mindful, this robot does require a constant power connection to the wall outlet. There is an onboard small battery, but that's only for emergencies in case this accidentally gets disconnected or loses power. So the unit doesn't fall down to the ground and break into a million pieces. Okay, so let's go and uh, check this out. I'll show you some uh, footage of it running and give you my final thoughts. Oh yeah, I should probably take the lid off. Duh. Try that one more time. Wow, can you hear that? Okay, so during my testings, I felt like this device is great for someone who lives in a high-rise building. You see those really fancy apartments that have floor-to-ceiling windows? Well, that's great because you don't have to get out a ladder. Now, if you have smaller windows, maybe it's quicker just to get out the good old Windex and paper towel. But you can see how this unit navigates. kind of starts from the top left corner, and then it works its way down, and then starts up from the top again. Now according to the website, it actually works on a variety of different materials from windows to tiles to even mirrors and I felt like it had no problems sticking onto multi-surfaces and as long as it doesn't get over like an edge or if there's not like a lip, this robot does a great job being able to detect edges and be able to navigate around them. Now just looking at the machine, I don't think there's any clip sensors so just be mindful if there is like a drop off, you might want to be mindful of it. The machine can't detect if it's losing suction and it will stop in place if it does happen to lose suction. Okay, so let's talk about cleaning performance. I've had this guy for about a month now. I felt like it's really designed for like the surface debris only. So for example, fingerprints, maybe you had some fancy stickers on there for the holidays and you peel it off, leave some residue. This machine was able to get that off. Now I did try this in my bathroom and it really wasn't able to get like the tougher soap grime off the tiles so I might have to bust out the elbow grease. Now I've tested a lot of different type of cleaning machines and most of them are really designed just for the light cleaning task. If you want something that replaces like actual hand cleaning you'll be sorely disappointed. But one positive note is the cleanup of the machine itself is pretty easy. You can pack everything fairly quickly and be on to your next job. Well I think first impressions goes a long ways and the company really did try to make sure you're getting a quality product. Starting from the box I really think they did a good job on the box. And there's even a QR code where you can scan for technical support. So when you do happen to get this guy, uh, if you have any issues, there's an email address and there's also a phone number you can reach the company. Now, this version is a pre-release version and I believe it's going to be releasing in May um, on Indiegogo. So if you're interested, I'll have a link down below. But just from my experience with this guy, it's a really nice presentation and I hope that they improve the price navigation um, some objects the machine did struggle with, but overall, I think they have a great start so far. And then push the button. Alright, let's go and give you my final thoughts. I really think this is great for someone who lives in a high-rise building where they have floor to ceiling windows. They can basically place the unit on the ground and have it climb all the way up. You don't need a ladder. Now, if you're someone like me that has more of a traditional home, uh, my windows aren't that big, but I do find it's convenient. Just kind of place it on there, walk away, come back about five minutes and move it on to the next window. Now, during my testing, I know some of the door frames have like a little lip and the unit will fall. So there's a couple things you can do. You can attach a lanyard to prevent it from falling to the ground. Or you can just use the app or remote control to steer away from those troubled areas. Now, 
Keep in mind that this unit is designed for light surface debris, tougher stains, it kind of struggled with, so if you expect it to clean or deep clean, you'll be disappointed. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys are safe out there. Like and subscribe and stick around. I got some new products coming to this channel, some unique ones. So we'll see what's coming for 2023. All right, so see you later. Adios.